Ladies and gentlemen, we just found one of the nicest spec 2020 Newell coaches ever built. Today we're hanging out with Brian Pitts at Newell Coach. Brian, how you doing today, sir? Man, I am great. How are you? It's so good to see you. Likewise, it's very windy out here, so why don't we take a look inside of this coach and see what's going on? Let's go look. Man, Brian, this is a beautiful Newell coach. What's going on here, sir? The reason I picked this one for us to film, we built this show coach for the summer show season 2020. I loved it on the drawing board and I really loved it when I saw it finished. So I took it up to Hearthside Grove in Northern Michigan and showed it up there and it created a lot of business. And so when I saw it come back in on trade, I'm like, ooh, here's here's one we've got to show. So that's what I wanted to show you. I, I love the floor plan in here. It's a brilliant floor plan. It's got a ton of everything and I'll kind of tell you about that as we go through it. Yeah, let's take a look around. Uh, yeah, beautiful colors, beautiful design cues lots of different textures that all tie together but what's uh what's going on when it comes to the textures and so on I, i'm on a pass don't pass this this was beautiful i thought it was gorgeous and more importantly the customers thought it was gorgeous but what i love about this coach so much is the floor plan elements are brilliant it's got two couches up here love that because it's a lot of seating for everybody driver and passenger seat that turn around and face the back both of these are sleeper couches. One of them's a regular hide-a-bed with a fold-out air mattress. One of them's a scissor style, uh, kind of like a futon that comes out. There's storage underneath. And uh, a really cool texture. I've got to get everybody a close-up because you've got the two-tone with like a cloth material that has a really cool pattern in it. And then a leather as well, like two different tones of cream but really tie together well. We do that quite a bit because it seems like everybody prefers cloth seating surfaces because they're much more comfortable, but then like the frame of the couch be made out of leather so that it'll last forever. So then as these get worn or stained or whatever, we can very easily replace just the cushion part and not have to completely replace the couch or recover the whole couch. Definitely not a lot of wear and tear at all. You can tell it's been very lightly used. How many miles are on this coach? This coach has just turned over 25,000 miles. It, it's a really fresh coach. Definitely. And, and as we're talking here, I've got to point out behind you on that valance, there's kind of a pattern that's kind of popping out with the light. Really cool window cover there. This is where our decor team is so talented because they have mirrored this in fabrics all through the coach, area rugs, fabrics. The uh, valance covers, all of them have a similar pattern, which I don't know if you noticed, but is also on the paint job. Oh, yes, sir. So yes, that, sir. That theme carries through the whole coach. So those people are next level amazing. And you've talked about it in previous videos. Whenever the team at Newell does a show coach, you guys pull out every stop. What's some of the other cool stuff in this show coach? The thing that, that really hit me about this floor plan in particular, uh, going back to the floor plan, is it's got so much of everything tons of seating you know you've got all of this which we talked about the couches and the chairs that turn around and the dinette and so on still has eight feet of galley do you know how long this slide is in the this, salon this slide is 16 feet long okay 30 inches deep and 16 feet long this one is 13 feet long and 30 inches deep wow headroom we've talked about in other coaches but what's the headroom uh, what's the height in this it's coach it's just under eight feet it ends up being about seven foot ten inches finished and then the height of the slide rooms i am six foot two so you can see what we got here. Even with the trim piece, we've got about four inches to spare. Yes, sir. So I would say it's probably six, seven in here and six, six to right there. Yes, sir. Yeah, leading headroom in the class A industry. Talking about headroom, the ceilings in this coach, it's an absolutely stunning design that I've seen in some of the new 2024s, a very yeah. similar style. Was this kind of a first for that pattern? It, it was early on. What we like about using a wood grain mixed in with otherwise very modern coach is it warms it up. It makes it, it gives it a lot warmer feel. You can go way too far with the modern thing and then get a sterile feel inside. And this coach definitely doesn't have that. Yeah, definitely not. And when you mentioned the wood grain, these floors as well have a high gloss, but then also have a wood grain in them as well. Overall design really is stunning in this coach. I really liked it too. I, th I think it's beautiful. Love the paint job, love the colors. I think it's timeless. That's a big thing to accomplish is 
build something that's still going to look current and great 15 years from now. Now, I'm looking forward to seeing more of this coach, but I've got to ask you, you know, when someone gets to this level where they're able to purchase a coach like this, they can pretty much choose from anything out there. This is the top of the game. What is it about Newell Coach, and why would someone choose to buy a Newell Coach when they can choose any motor coach in the world? I went through a similar process when I was deciding where to work. I've been in this industry a long time. I, I've got opportunities to work pretty much anywhere. What drew me to Newell, first and foremost, I, I, I had been through a number of companies that were on thin ice financially all the time. Newell is a very conservative company. We pay cash for our additions and our improvements as we go along. That one thing alone was very comfortable to me. And if I was spending two and a half up million dollars on a coach, I want to know that the company that built it is going to be there for me when it comes around. And on that note, the other thing that attracted me to Newell is they've got a long standing reputation for having amazing customer service. Whatever it takes to make the person happy, no matter where they are, even internationally, we do what it takes to make them happy. That reputation reached me even before I came to work at Newell. That's a huge, huge deal. And, and then on the coach itself, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is that everything in this coach was custom built to do this with it. We didn't buy a, a chassis off the shelf from someone and bend it to our will. We built this entire machine to do this for this coach. The slide sizes and locations, the, the 63,300 pound carrying capacity, the four wheel active steering, the large X15 Cummins engine. The brakes were made for a coach that weighs this much. You can tow 25,000 pounds with it. All of those things are unique to this machine, to what Newell Coach does. And those are huge, huge deals when you're designing your dream coach. Definitely some great reasons. What's some of the other cool stuff with this coach? We talked about how much room is in the galley and that's really cool, but look at the size of these pantries too. It's just got tons of space everywhere. People look at the cabinets and they say, oh, this is nice, but there's nowhere to keep my food. There's nowhere to keep my pots and pans. But it's because it's built in so well, you just don't really notice yes, sir. all of the different places there are to store things. There's huge drawers all over the place, like for cooking and uh, utensils. It has a dish drawer here. It has big drawers down here. I love this built-in trash can. It's got a nice trash can and room for cleaning supplies and trash bags back here. I spend a lot of months. I spend about four months a year in a coach. You know, you walk in and you see one that's beautiful and you're like, oh, that's awesome. It's a beautiful coach. But when you've lived in one for a while and you realize you need a place to keep your paper towels and cleaning supplies and trash bags and so on and so forth, you start to really appreciate what 55 years of building motor coaches has done for this company. They've learned from this process over these years and they built these amazing coaches so there's a lot of value in, you know being the end user of the coach and then thinking of all kinds of cool little stuff that get implemented and then you know, every coach it seems like Newell gets a little better but yeah. this is definitely a stunning example so between our own experiences and listening to the feedback from the clients as they walk through it you know a lot of our business takes place in high-end resorts where people are there for a, a number of months on end they will make comments you know I would love to see this in a coach, so on and so forth. Well, as I said, we build the whole thing. We can make that happen. Oh, yeah. I've seen Newell Coach. We saw a coach recently with a cold plunge tub, a steam shower, and a dry sauna all in the rear bathroom. What are some of the other more extreme Newell Coach builds or extreme requests you've seen from customers? One of my favorites, probably, because it's some of my favorite people that we built it for. I met a client in Florida years ago. She was paralyzed from the chest down, pretty much a prisoner of their motor home while they were down there. It had a lift. They could get her in and out, but he needed to be there for pretty much every one of her needs. He came around. This is before I really knew him or knew the situation. And he said, I understand you guys build custom coaches. How custom can you go? Something we say quite a bit, as long as it will fit in a roadworthy chassis, we're capable of building it. What are you thinking? And he explained the situation and we built a coach that allowed this woman to have her quality of life back. She could operate it on her own so he could go play golf with, with friends. And when it was time for her card game at the clubhouse, she could get herself ready, get in and 
out of the coach. And in order to do that, we had to have a passway in the coach with the slides closed that were wide enough for a wheelchair. We had to have obviously a wheelchair lift, which we've done many times. The beds were hospital beds, two twin beds, one on either side. The shower was the kind that a ramp came out automatically when you open the door and you could drive the wheelchair in. And really incredible what Newell Coach is able to do and I really have to tip my hat to the caretakers out there that help folks. Those memories are really priceless and that's awesome that they were able to do that. But what else is going on with this coach, sir? So here's a few things that, that I also really like about this coach. Check this out. We looked at the pantries. It's got a very nice washer and dryer with retractable doors. Gorgeous half bath. Look at all the stuff in there. Look at all the textures we've mixed. Yeah, I've got to get everybody a close-up of that texture on the wall and then how it ties together with those floors and the cabinets. That same texture on the backsplash there. Just incredible, all of the different patterns. And then also, too, on these bulkhead, bulkheads, or what do you consider yeah, yeah, that? bulkheads, yeah, absolutely. Almost a little texture there yeah. as well. Is there a design inspiration for this coach, or? We would have to ask the girls who are brilliant at this stuff, Sydney and Amber, come up with these phenomenal ideas. Like I said, I'm on a pass, don't pass. I'm like, that looks fantastic, or no, that's not my jam. They're the brilliant part behind this but I love this textured laminate it adds so much depth to the walls the design team is just hitting home run after home run one after another they don't miss over there in the design department for sure but. so check this out back here king size bed 13 drawers 14 feet of hanging back here Wow. And still a huge master bathroom. All right. Hold on. 14 feet of hanging. I'm not seeing it. I'm, I'm, you got to prove so this one this to us. So here's a small, we call these a shirt locker here. You can hang a jacket or whatever in there. Over here, one rod with drawers down underneath. This is a whole stack of drawers here. Two more rods in here. Yes, sir. Oh, so you can have a uh, long hanging space for dresses or race car suits as yeah, well. Yeah, these, this one is made to be removed, so you can have full length hanging if you prefer, or two rods. I counted both rods when I was counting. The this is a fixed TV back here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so what they did here, they built the television in full time. It has the window behind it, but they built the television in full time so that you can pick up all of these drawers rather than having it on a lift where you would lose all of those. They felt like the right call was to build the television in full time there. Yeah, definitely a lot of storage. And then a very subtle two-tone with the two different drawer faces. Just a yeah, cool Yeah, it style. warms it back up. The gray on this is nicely offset by the by the nice taupe colors in the wood grain here. It, it just, just a really nice job by the design team. All the cool lighting too that lights up below the bed and below the cabinets. All of this accent lighting is switched separately so like at night what I like to do is turn off all of the main overhead lights and just have the accent lighting on. It makes this awesome glow. The whole coach has got this nice warm glow to it. It's a nice thing to do right before bed. Yes sir, yes sir. When exterior lighting if you want to be the star of the campground I saw you had 1774 lit up down yeah. in Florida. I actually had to grab your photo to use that for the video because <laughs> yeah. it was such a great photo. Caught it on a full moon night with just a little bit of clouds up there. It looked so amazing. Hey, you could be a photographer uh, with that kind of <laughs> shot. That was amazing. Where's that other 14 feet of hanging space? I'll show you. Here's another closet back here and then another stack of drawers with a clothes hamper. And then back here is the rest of it. And this we did with a retractable door, so as you're loading and unloading, it's out of the way. It's a lot easier to load your clothes in and out. And then there's a lot more drawers back here, really everywhere back here. Yeah, lots of drawers. And I really like this style with the multi-level countertops and then the yeah. corner. Really cool style, like a bowl sink and then a different pattern on the backsplash. It makes a cool focal point as you walk in here with that raised platform, the bowl sink, and, and all the beautiful lighting. I, I just, I think they did such a great job. And then this is all storage too, back here. Deep medicine cabinet, that's gotta be six to eight inches there. Yeah, I'd say so. I really like this. I know I've showed you this before, but they hang these opposite, so when you're getting ready, you can see on all three sides. Yeah. And, and then mirrors behind you yeah. as well, so yeah. all the way around. And we wire this cabinet so like, 
things that need chargers, electric toothbrushes, razors, and so on can stay in the cabinet and, and they don't have to have them out. Keeps exactly. those countertops clean, yes sir. Yeah, big shower. I mean, literally this coach has everything you need. Tons of closet space, sleeping for five people, seating for 10 people. I mean, it, it's just really well put together. I love the floor plan. Hey, you're a pretty big guy. Can you give us a shower test? Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, you got plenty of room in there, yeah. but I'm also noticing those wall tiles behind you. What a cool pattern. Kind of those new larger tiles that we're seeing in the brand new stuff here. Right, so right. You know, every square inch, like even decor behind the toilet. Really cool tile work behind the toilet as well. Just a stunning coach. More storage back here too. Yes, sir. Lined with carpet. Brian, I really appreciate you showing us around this pre-owned Newell coach. Now, what is the warranty on this coach? And how much money does someone need to become the next owner? Warranty is two years and 24,000 miles. That covers pretty much everything on the coach. And it is anything within eight years of current production, not just this coach. It, there's a number of them. $1,795,000 is the selling price on this coach. Awesome. And are you able to help folks get financing and take in trades? We can help with finance. We can help with insurance. And we can certainly help with trades. We have a number of lending institutions we do business with and uh, we have an F&I manager that makes that an easy process. Awesome. Well, if someone's a serious and qualified buyer and they want to become the next owner of this coach or one of the other Newell coaches here, who can they get a hold of? My name is Brian Pitts. I can be reached at brianp at newellcoach.com and I'd love to hear from you. Awesome, Brian. I greatly appreciate you and the team at Newell Coach. I also appreciate all of you out there subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.